So we set off from Holy Lock this morning. We're heading up Lock Long. We've got the full sails out. Telltales are flying brilliantly. We've picked up some extra crew. This is Adrian, <laughs> he's a friend of mine who's coming, he's having his first sail, he's on the helm, hopefully enjoying that. And inside here, tucked away is Kay. <laughs> We're heading up Loch Goyle, which is up here on the left, and we are going to take a mooring boil. We're going to anchor for lunch off Carrick Castle. Here we are. Um, Aquila is anchored and we're rafted on Aquila. We've come ashore in the dinghies here and some of the crew are going to investigate this castle over here. So let's go and see what it looks like. So we've walked around to the castle, which is here. We can't get up close. So we can only see it from a distance, which is a bit of a shame. It's got a bit of scaffolding on it and they must be doing some sort of repair work. Sort of pretty area around it, a load of picnic tables and some people swimming in the bay. It's not particularly sunny today, but it looks quite refreshing. Well, we made it to the top of Loch Goyle. Um, we have taken a visitor's mooring, come ashore in a dinghy on the pontoon, and that we've got most of the crew ashore. So, crew are gathering here, we're playing for our mooring, and then we're heading this way, I think, towards the pub. So hopefully we're going to get a decent drink. We're at Loch Goolhead. We managed to find ourselves um, a nice takeaway restaurant and we sit outside in this pub. Got beautiful views, the gardens are fantastic. We've had a great evening, having a nice sort of pub dinner. And we're just about to head back to our dinghies and back on shore. I would recommend this place though, really enjoyed it. Um, Crimson Estate, I think it's called. We woke up this morning at the top of Loch Gall Head and uh, it's time for Aquila to depart. They're off to Troon this morning, whereas we're going back to James Watt Dock. They're, uh, they're going to disappear for a few days before they come back. So, lone cruising for us again. Um, and this is our sort of goodbye. This is Loch Goyle, this is Loch Goyle Head. We anchored here for the night. Well, we actually moored here on a mooring boy for the night. Incredibly peaceful night's sleep. And not a bad venue. Oh, what a day yesterday was. As we were coming back from Loch Goyle Head, we picked up um, something underneath the boat. As I was helming in, I could feel the wheel sort of doing this rhythmic jog. Um, didn't know what it was, so I tried sort of slowing down and doing a full 360 in both directions, hoping that whatever it was that was underneath the boat would come off. That didn't seem to work, so as we have a rope cutter, I put the boat into reverse, thinking we might be able to cut off anything that was caught on the prop. And it was then when we looked out the back that we noticed some sort of small floats that you see on fishing nets popping up and we were very suspicious that we'd actually caught a fishing net. Anyway, we ended up with a disabled engine just outside James Watt Dock. We were lucky enough to be able to get um, into James Watt Dock and they towed us onto a berth near the crane. Unfortunately, too heavy to be lifted. So the drama just unfolded really, um, but they did they were extremely helpful at James Watt Dock. They got hold of um, some numbers for some divers for us and uh, we got a diver out and the diver went underneath the boat and the footage you're going to see is what he brought up from underneath. So this is what we call all wrapped around our um, propeller, hence having no way to move forward yesterday when we were trying to come in. 
what a mess, really old fishing line. Just discarded, our rope cutter tried but just couldn't get it all off. Thankfully the diver says it's all clear, so we're going to do a test in a minute of our engine to see if our prop can provide us with some propulsion. Wish us luck. We are so nervous. We've fired up the boat and Alan's putting it in forward and reverse just to check we get propulsion before we let go of the dock. I have never been so happy to see water thrusting out the back. I think we have propulsion, Houston. We might have lift off. We may even be able to go out sailing again. Skipper's still looking a bit anxious though. made our way into Millport. We've come to the Garrison House and here they have an arts and crafts movement garden. All the crazy paving, wild planting, lovely sort of lily ponds there and you can see the background. You can see little Cumbrae over there is Aaron. It's just such a lovely day and a lovely spot. Really nice place. The Garrison House I'll show you next. This is the view from the garden back towards the garrison house. It's been here a long time, I think it's at 1849 on the plaque above the door. Alan's just chilling and enjoying the view. This garden is filled with the most beautiful flowers. I'm absolutely in love with these lilies on the pond. They're really beautiful. It's unusual as well, but the whole place it's just in bloom and it smells wonderful in here because of all these gorgeous blooms. It's so pretty, peaceful, calm. We've woken up this morning and it's mill pond smooth out here. It's been a quiet night. We're just getting ready to leave. We're just going to let go of our mooring boy and say goodbye to Millport. Are we ready to go? Are we ready? Are we ready? Tracks in. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, we are going to Troon this morning. Troon. Let's go. We're going to need some fuel. What now? No, no, oh, when we, we get there. Get okay. There. All right then. We're leaving Millport on Great Cumbrian. We're squeezing between those two bits of rock. There's a, a deep enough channel right in the middle. So here we go. Gently does it, I think. The skipper. He's concentrating quite a lot, I hope, because I do not want to end up on the rocks. And there he is, looking at the GPS and making sure we're in the right place. We're just sailing past Little Cumbrae and we spotted this old lighthouse. There's a, looks like a, a, a boathouse at the bottom of the cliff. And then down there, there's a, a key, 
uh, a quayside where you could um, where you could bring the boats in. And then uh, up here was a crane. No, can't see the crane now. There's the crane there. So we wondered if they use it for lifting the supplies up to the lighthouse rather than bringing it around by land. Interesting. Due to the beautiful blue skies today, we decided to go out on our bikes and we've cycled along and come to the Royal Troon Golf Club. Alan is very pleased with himself and he knows lots of relatives are going to be so jealous that we're here. So we've got some photographs for you guys and we'll send them later. Here we are sat outside the Marine Hotel with the Royal Troon Golf Club in the background enjoying a nice cup of tea and these fantastic views. That's Aaron over there in the background in the distance. You can see Isla Craig, that little lump there, watching people play golf on the course. Alan's very happy. We're waiting in the queue at Drift Coffee Shop to have our lunch. It's very nice looking in here. Very pretty. Nice little coffee shop in Troon. So here we are at Royal Troon. I'm very excited. We've decided to, uh, to invest in a round. It's, it's £260 a round. Uh, and it's very strict timing at this course. So, you know, you've really got to be on your game. Uh, it'll be me and Tish versus David and Georgina. And uh, they're, they're both, uh, they're all very, very expert golfers. So uh, I'm, I'm really going to have to be on my mettle. Can't wait to get playing. Halfway for ladies. Oh, massive thump. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. There's George. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh. In the rough. <laughs> In the rough. <laughs> of the Royal Tree. Letitia Smith to drive off. It's up the ramp. It's nearly in the hole, but it isn't. <laughs> Here comes Georgina Stanger. Famed. Care went go for it. <laughs> you can see, you can see the quality. <laughs> So they're sizing up the 18th hole still. These professionals getting ready to knock that ball in. Oh, well done, George. Here comes Alan. Is he gonna make it? Oh, that's two up the ramp. <laughs> and finally, David Stanger. The pressure is on. Can he make it? The answer is no. <laughs> so we're riding along the cycle path at Beach Troom Front, and here comes Alan. There are some fantastic views all the way out to sea. Well, we've bought the bikes, as you can see in the background there to the We Hurry fish and chip shop, which is over here. Um, it's next to the fishing harbour in Troon. You can see all the fishing boats. Big queues because it's very popular, it's supposed to be very fresh fish. So we're really looking forward to getting our meal. Um, and we'll show you when we've got it, how delicious it looks. Just deciding whether we're gonna eat in or out, depending on the weather. But we can still see the clouds. Well, they're clearing a bit. There's a bit of blue, but there's also lots of black. So we'll have to see how the weather is when we finally get our fish and chips in our hands. I don't know if you can hear all the gulls squeaking around us, but we are watching the harbour seals. This one, it's just lounging around, keeps poking its head up. Um, it's in the fishing harbour. We've made our order from the wee hurry. So you can see him in the middle there, and all the fishing boats. I don't know what he's doing. He's been there for ages now. He's obviously enjoying himself. 
He seems to be on his own. Can't see anybody with him. Having a lovely old time. Great entertainment while we wait for our chips. So we've collected our chips from the Wee Hurry Fish and Chip Shop. This is where we're sat, looking at that amazing view, having our little picnic. What a fantastic time. We've had a great day today. All started with crazy golf, ending with a delicious fish and chip supper. You can probably hear the wind. Um, it is blown really quite, quite hard. The flag is out horizontal. The storm clouds just look vicious. We were going to go out. We've had the shortest passage ever. We just nipped out, came straight back in because um, we realised that actually the forecast has suddenly released a weather warning for storms and 80 mile an hour winds. So here we are still in port, happily safely tucked up in the marina. Um, glad that we came back in and we didn't make the mistake of going out in that storm. We are down below. Um, we're just getting ready for our friends to come around. Um, dinner table is laid. Dinner is on, they'll be here soon and we're gonna have a nice meal together in port instead. Well, today is no better than yesterday. We seem to have had these storms coming through for about a week now. Predicted thunderstorms, pouring rain. It's just a bit miserable. Um, we're not worried though. It's David Stanger's birthday today, so we're going out for breakfast in a minute. I'm going to get a taxi instead of walking, and that's our little privilege. <laughs> I think your dad appreciates your card, Livy. It's really making him laugh. <laughs> We're opening them at the breakfast table in the Lido. How's that nice breakfast? Better than average. Better than average. <laughs> He's a happy man. Excellent breakfast at the Lido in True. Very happy. So we're on passage from Troon to Stranra. Uh, we've been out for about uh, three hours now and um, we're having a feisty sail. The, uh, the wind has gone round, quite variable, it's gone round to the south and it's come back to the west and we think it's about southwest now. It's, it's not quite on the nose so we are getting a little bit of wind in the sail um, and we are hacking along. So uh, what speed are we doing? Uh, 6.1. 6.1, so the tide will turn very shortly and hopefully we'll get a bit of lift from the tide as well. So we're on our way to Stramra. We may be going past Isla Craig. How's Isla Craig? Can you see it through the spray hood? Probably not. There she is. We'll be going past Isla Craig shortly. Nice to have our sails up. We are a bit close to the wind, but we're still catching some wind now. That's our tail tails. Stormy looking skies today. Well, that is Aquila on the horizon over there. And here is us passing Isla Craig on our way to Stranra. Having a fantastic day. It's really making me smile today. Um, there is Quite a good view of the coastline in the background and Alan is in the cockpit just keeping watch with me just had a nice tea and some ginger biscuits should be in ready for dinner tonight with any luck okay we have just put our sails down we're entering Loch Ryan this is possibly our last Scottish lock this year. We, um, we're heading south slowly. So finally, as everybody says, you're not heading south. We've decided that's where we're going. We're heading back down south. So last Scottish lock. Um, hopefully from here, we will head down through the North Channel and further south, maybe the Isle of Man. Nice uh, entrance here, quite pretty. The usual beautiful countryside. And uh, that's the direction we've sailed from over there. Believe it or not, the skies are probably the bluest we've seen in over a week. Um, but there's another storm coming through. There's a possible gale eight tomorrow. So we're gonna tie up in Stranra Marina and 
keep ourselves nice and safe until that blows through. This is the entrance to Stranraer Marina. We came in there. It's the old dock for the ferries. Come round. I'm guessing this is a bit of the town. Here's the marina. And here's Seagull. Simply tucked up on a berth next to Aquila. We're going over there tonight for some tea lamb stew. Yum! <laughs>